Hey guys, Ashley with Amari. So a few resources for you guys. We are located in Elizabeth and Highland Park, New Jersey, and I also offer virtual consults. So if you guys need my help, give the office a call, 732-841-0142, and our scheduling coordinator can help you get set up with an appointment. We also have our online shop. So all the products that I talk about in my videos, those are all in our online shop for you guys to purchase. On our Instagram, Amari Healing Arts is our Instagram, all the products are linked right there in our bio. Also, the online shop is linked, and it's linked in the description box for each video. So you guys can go and check those out. And then we have our online course school, the post-op academy. So all of the things that you would need to know post-op, we are doing online courses for. So things like what kind of massages you need, when you need to get them, who to get them from, how to find a therapist like me, all of that we have online courses for. There are going to be more courses coming out all the time. So check in on that to see what's new and what you guys can learn. If you like my videos, all of those courses are exclusive content. All those videos are exclusive content. None of them are on YouTube. They're all in our courses. So that is amarihealingarts.teachable.com. The link for that is also in the description box, and it is also linked in our bio on Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Ashley with Amare. I will see you soon. Bye. Hey, guys. It's Ashley with Amare. Hi. So today we're talking about when... Can we stop wearing our compression garment after liposuction? So when should we stop wearing it? When can we stop wearing it? When can we take this thing off? You will hear a bajillion different answers. Like a bajillion. You will hear 24-7 for seven months. You will hear 12 hours a day after three weeks. You will hear all kinds of different numbers. Here's why. Nobody actually understands why you need a compression garment after liposuction. If you have liposuction, very, very simple. You need to be wearing your compression garment after liposuction as long as you have swelling and fibrosis. When there is no more swelling, no more hardness, nothing left, then you can stop wearing it. But until then, we are wearing it 24-7. That is the short answer to the million questions. Now, let's get into this. So, I have some notes here. Um, why do we need compression garments? Well, first of all, let's talk about what's happening during liposuction. You are getting tissue, fat is tissue. You are getting tissue taken out of your body. Your body now has a hole where that tissue used to be. Your body is gonna fill that hole up with swelling. Swelling is healing juices. Swelling is proteins, white blood cells, fats, water, fibrinogens, myofibrins, fibroblasts, collagen, elastin, all the things that make new tissue. Your body doesn't know that we took the fat out on purpose. I say this in tons of videos. Your body doesn't know that we took the fat out on purpose. So it thinks, oh no, we have a hole that now we need to fill. So it sends in swelling to fill the hole because your body's not just gonna let you have a hole. So bleeding comes in, um, all that blood kind of clots and sets and then swelling comes in. That's the first phase of wound healing. Second phase, swelling comes in to start bringing all the nutrients to the area to make new tissue. Here's the thing, we don't want new tissue made in that area. We want that space closed, right? So the point of a compression garment is not to get rid of swelling. Let me say that again very clearly. The point of a compression garment is not to get you snatched. Compression garments will not get rid of swelling. Compression garments are a container for your body to heal in, that space to stay closed so that it doesn't fill up with swelling. Here's the thing, you need the swelling, right? So swelling heals the tissue. It's when we have too much swelling that there's a problem. And if our garment doesn't fit right, which I have tons of videos on is my garment too small, is my garment too big, if it doesn't fit right, your body is either going to be crushed because it's too tight and it's not going to heal properly because you're cutting into already broken tissue or it's going to be too loose and your body's going to fill that space with swelling. So that's a whole nother topic that I have other videos on. But when can we take this thing off? When we have no more swelling. How do we get rid of the swelling? Manual lymphatic drainage. Your body has this thing called the lymphatic system, which I have tons of videos on. The lymphatic system is responsible for getting rid of your swelling. So when we're talking about a garment, a garment is just there to hold that tissue while it's healing. 
it's not going to actually move the swelling or stimulate your lymphatics. That is your manual lymphatic drainage massage, and that is your medical grade lipofoams. Those are the two things that are going to get rid of your swelling, but garments are not for getting rid of swelling. Garments are to hold you in place. So when do we get out of it? When we're healed, when there's no more swelling or fibrosis to contain, because garments are a soft cast, like you break your arm, right? And they put you in a cast for six to eight weeks. If at six weeks that arm is still broken, when they go to take that cast off and do an x-ray and that arm is still broken, they're not putting you in a splint. They're not putting you in any kind of like brace. They're putting you back in your cast. So if you have had lipo and you've hit your six to eight week mark and you still have swelling, numbness, tingling, nerve stuff going on, hardness, you still have a lot in there, you're still wearing your garment and your foams. You're not taking that off for 12 hours a day. When you break your arm, you don't take a cast off for 12 hours a day. It's the same thing with a compression garment. It's meant to be a soft cast to hold your tissue while you're healing. So that's the 12 hours a day thing. No to that. We are wearing them 24 seven until we no longer need to wear them. Now, length of time wise, how long do we need to wear them? If your body, right, there is no, and this is what drives you guys nuts, there is no magic number as far as how many days post-op do we need to be wearing our garment for or anything like that, right? So if your body is still swollen and fibrotic, you're still wearing that thing. Even if you are six months out, you are wearing it to help contain the tissue while it's healing and your tissue's not healing properly because it's still swollen and hard. We're gonna get to that in a second. Like, how quickly can we get this thing off? But how long, right? You shouldn't be wearing your garment for six months. You shouldn't be wearing your garment for eight months. You should not need your garment still that far out after surgery. Maybe like that, that two month mark, maybe three months if we're having a little trouble with fibrosis because we keep slipping up on the diet or we're not wearing it properly or whatever it is, we're not getting our massages because we need to contain that space for your body to heal in. But not, it's not going to do anything at six months, at eight months. It's just going to continue holding the stuff that you're not getting rid of, that swelling and fibrosis that's in there, that's not going anywhere. It's just going to hold that. And yes, it will feel good because all that stuff is still in there and it's heavy and it's hard and it's puffy and it's sensitive and it's sore still at six months. Yes, you're going to want to be wearing your garment, but you shouldn't need to be wearing your garment that far out like I said at most three months um, at most if you are still in a garment and you're that far out it's your aftercare the massages you're getting are not manual lymphatic drainage and they are not working it's your diet it might even be the garment the garment without the foams there's a million reasons but if you are six to eight months out and you still need that garment, even 12 hours a day, there's something going on in your aftercare that you're not doing right or that you're getting your massages, but they're wood therapy, they're body contouring, they're rollers, they're all kinds of craziness. They're not the gentle pumping strokes of manual lymphatic drainage designed to specifically pump your lymph nodes to get your body to reabsorb the swelling so you pee it out that is the massage you need now um when it comes to the whole garment without foams thing you guys are using boards you guys are using all kinds of like memory foam squishy stuff you want to get if i can get it out of my little thing here plastic surgery textbook is coming with me hold on okay you want to get medical grade polyurethane foams. So what is what is the difference with the foams? What are we doing with the foams here? So what our foams do, these are the Amare Lipo foams, polyurethane, medical grade, machine washable, reusable. Yes, they will turn yellow when air hits them. It's called oxidization. That is normal. They will turn whatever color they touch, the color of the garment, the color of your skin. The point of the foams, and the reason we don't use memory foam, which collapses under the weight of your garment, the reason we're not using sponge, which digs into your body with the weight of your garment, when I put this foam on me and I just place my fingertips and I move the foam just with my fingertips, you can see the skin, the entire skin on my arm move. 
That's causing micro lymphatic stimulation in your garment to help break down the hardness and move your swelling. A garment without foams is not the way to go. You want to make sure you have foams covering all around your body, everywhere that you had surgery. If you had liposuction, just your abdomen, you need one pack of foams. If you just had one spot on the front of your stomach. If you've had front, sides, back, or even front and sides, you need two packs. And in the video for the lipo foams on our post-op shop, when you go to buy them, I show you how to place them. But the way that they're placed is extremely important in your garment. You can't just go throwing foams in willy-nilly. The reason we place them in a specific way is we follow this lymphatic map. So we're lining the major lymphatic highways and pathways with the way that I teach you how to put the foams in in that video after liposuction to make sure that we're actually stimulating the skin the way I just did with our foams to give you that same micro massage effect that you get during manual lymphatic drainage because we're working and stroking the skin in the same way. So if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about and you are in a garment and it has been hmm, like six months and you're still in a garment after liposuction or even like four or five months and you're still in a garment like 12 hours and you're still super swollen and you're like I don't understand why this isn't going down some days it's better some days it's not you need to get the course because it's garments will not move your swelling your manual lymphatic drainage moves your swelling your diet helps prevent the swelling from getting stuck in your tissues making sure that you are going to a certified therapist is very important and I teach you how that lymphatic map works and I teach you how swelling is made and stays and what you're doing that's making it stay and how your therapist should be working in what sequence. All of that is in the course. So if you are still in your garment, because again, garments are not meant to move swelling, your manual lymphatic drainage, your foams, that's what's meant to move swelling, right? Actually pumping the lymphatic system, pumping your skin. So if you are at that four weeks, uh, four months to like, eight months and you still have swelling, you're still clinging to your garment, all of those things, get the course because it's what you're doing that's causing the swelling to either stick or it's not moving properly because the massages you're getting are not the right ones. But garments are not meant to move swelling. Garments are a soft cast. They are a container. So how do we know when we're ready to be out of our garment? When we have no more swelling, no more fibrosis, no more tingling, we can see the contours of surgery, everything is soft and squishy and nice and flat and perfect. Then you can stop wearing your garment. But up until then, you need to be wearing it 24 seven, 12 hours a day is not gonna do anything because then you're only containing that broken arm for 12 hours a day. That's not gonna help it heal. We have to be in that garment 24 seven. We need to have the foams in to help stimulate that lymphatic system and stimulate the skin so that the swelling doesn't get trapped and stuck and stagnant and become fibrosis. Swelling becomes fibrosis. Fibrosis is not just a random thing. It is the fact that your swelling is not moving. It is sitting under your tissue. The garment is holding you as it's supposed to, but that means your skin isn't getting any stimulation or movement and all that swelling is being trapped in your tissues. So, Garments are meant to be worn 24 seven. They are always meant to be worn with our lipo foams to make sure you're getting that stimulation so it doesn't become fibrotic and hard and build up in there. They are meant to be worn as a cast. They do not move swelling. Your manual lymphatic drainage massages and the Amare lipo foams are what moves your skin and gets your swelling out. That's how you pee it out. So garments are not not meant to be just like, oh, I'll put it on sometimes when I feel like I need it. Because that's the other thing I hear is like, you guys, you're like, oh, yeah, I wear my garments sometimes because like some days I'm sore and some days I'm fine and some days I'm not. And you're like six months out. You're supposed to be healed by then. So if you're getting your massages regularly, your swelling is coming down. Now, this whole thing, and this is like, I want to keep this video short. This is the last part of the video. This whole thing about getting four, five, six, seven, eight, nine garments, you need one, maybe two sizes that fits. Here's why. So if you had, let's say you had lipo and a BBL, right? You don't want to crush your glutes. They're trying to heal. So you need one size that fits your butt. Now your waist is going to shrink. So we're going to have space in that garment. What do we do? We fill it with foam because foam is going to help moderate that compression while keeping your BBL area protected and not crushed, but keep your waist shrinking. It's that compression ratio. 
Um, the other thing, let's say you're having lipo, right? Let's say you're doing four to five liters of lipo, a big lipo all the way around everything, right? Yes, you're going to shrink. But garments are not meant to squeeze you. Getting snatched is not something that happens with a garment. Getting snatched is because you had fat taken out from the surgery. That's how you get snatched, is the actual surgery, not your garments. Your garments are not going to squeeze the living daylights out of you, get into the tightest size possible, and it's going to shrink you. That is not how that works. Because you could be in the tightest thing possible and still be completely hard under there because all that swelling is getting trapped. So with garments, they don't need to be extremely tight. We want them to be hugging your body and be firm, but not tight. Garments should be firm, not tight. So when it comes to adding the foams, you want to make sure that you have, you can easily close the garment by yourself with the foams in. It shouldn't be too easy. It should be like, uh, 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 like that kind of a situation when we're going to snap the garment up with the foams, but you want to make sure you can fit the foams in. If you had LiPo 360 and you are in a garment and you cannot fit all six foams in in the way that I show you in the video and close your garment on the loosest hook because it is too tight, that garment is too small. You need a bigger garment. And then as it gets easier, then you can progress back down to that garment. But the reason I say you don't need four, five, and six garments is because we're not trying to squeeze the living daylights out of you. We are just trying to hold your tissue and hold your body while it's healing. So we can take that cast off once you're healed. How do we know when you're healed? When you have no more swelling and fibrosis because swelling is healing juices and fibrosis is a complication of your swelling. That's why there is, back to my point, way off track, but that's why there's no like, oh, at you know three months you can stop wearing it, at six months you can stop wearing it because if you guys don't have the right foams, if you're not getting proper manual lymphatic drainage massage by a certified therapist, if your massages are not right, you will not be shrinking consecutively. My clients are running through garments every week. They are going down a garment size every week. If you've had four to five liters of lipo and you're working with me and I'm seeing you twice a week with the foams, with the garment and with me and with the amount of water you're drinking and salt that you're avoiding and caffeine that you're avoiding and alcohol that you're avoiding, they are flying through garments. We are going down a garment size a week because we're making sure that we're getting this off. Now, when you break your arm and you have a cast, the reason that you don't get a smaller size cast is because nothing's shrinking in circumference. That bone is being set and we want it to be held. The reason, the only reason we need a smaller garment is because your tissue, your circumference is literally shrinking. So we need a smaller cast. That does not mean a tighter cast. It means a smaller cast. Your garment should feel the same amount of pressure or tightness throughout your entire recovery. So whether that be one garment or whether that be two or three garments, they should always be the same amount of tightness. They shouldn't get tighter and tighter and tighter. They should stay the same amount of tight your entire recovery, but that's why we need another size down is because when we get to that last set of hooks, you shrink inside the cast. And now we need a smaller circumference cast to keep that 20 to 30 mmHg mercury grade compression. That's how we measure pressure is mercury, millimeters of mercury. We need to keep that same 20 to 30 range of pressure your entire recovery. We're not getting smaller garments and increasing the pressure. We're keeping the same pressure the whole time, which is what the foams help with in the garment, especially if you're in between sizes. If you are in a garment where the last hook is too loose, but the next size down is too small, stay in that looser one. Put the foams in, wait like a day or two until you shrink a little bit more, and then go into your smaller one with the foams. So this is why there's no like, oh yeah, six months, you can stop wearing a garment altogether because it's where your body's healing. It's how your body's healing. It's where your tissue is at with the healing. So wrap this up in a nice little bow. After liposuction, when can we stop wearing our compression garment? When we are completely healed with no fibrosis and no swelling. How do we get completely healed with no fibrosis and no swelling? The lipo foams, proper manual lymphatic drainage, and proper diet. How do we know what those things are? 
We have an entire online course about it where I teach you all of that. So that's a great place to start. If you, and I do talk about garments in there too and how they work and when and why and all that. Everything, basically more than I just said, but it's in there. So if you need help finding a certified MLD therapist, if you guys are getting your massages and you're not shrinking every single day and it's kind of just like, yeah, I don't know, this doesn't feel right. If you don't understand what's supposed to be happening during your massages, if you don't understand the sequence that you're supposed to go in, your therapist is supposed to work in, if you don't understand how this technique even works, how do you know if you're getting the right massages? You don't. You have no idea. You're just looking at somebody that says that they're certified and you're like, okay, well, they said they're certified, so this should work. But if you're not shrinking constantly, like every day, every two days, really shrinking, those massages aren't the right ones or whoever's doing it is not doing the technique properly. So I teach you the sequence. I teach you how it works. I teach you what it's supposed to feel like. I teach you how it's supposed to be done, what's supposed to happen during your session so you can make sure that you're getting the right type of massages and they're being done in the right way so that you can get out of that garment like as soon as possible. And as soon as possible, by the way, for us, at Amare, for my clients, we are in New Jersey, um, that is usually around two months um, because they start with me that first week after liposuction, even with a BBL, and it's usually like that six to eight week mark. So like that two month mark, we're out of the garment completely. There is no tapering down. You don't need to taper down. Once we have no more swelling, what is this cast holding? This cast isn't holding anything anymore. If we have no more swelling and no more fibrosis, the point of the garment is to hold that tissue while we're getting all that stuff out and the tissue is healing. If the tissue is healed and we got nothing in there, we're completely decongested and completely clean, why are we still in a garment? We don't need to be. So usually in about two months is when all of my clients are out of their garment and one and done, it's over. There's no, we're not waiting for any swelling or fibrosis or anything like that. They're, they're good to go. They are done, they are over it, and they are out. Um, but that's because we use the foams in conjunction with the massages in conjunction with the diet, which I do talk about in the course as well. Things that are going to cause you to swell more. Things that are going to cause your swelling to stick. Things that are going to cause your swelling to harden and turn into fibrosis. So that online course is on our post-op shop. The link is in the description box. Um, that's the first place I would start. If you guys are worried about like your garments and you're like, when, when can I get out of this thing? Like how quickly can I get out of this thing? That right there, that's your answer. It's all in the course. Every, everything in that protocol is your answer. Um, if you need the foams, because if you've gotten your foams on Amazon and you are not shrinking in your garment or you're noticing that you're really, really hard in your garment with the foams, those foams are causing fibrosis because they're trapping your skin. Our foams move your skin. So the link to the foams is on our Instagram and our bio, but it's also in the description box. Um, and yeah, I mean, guys, it's just science. Like, it's this isn't... I know you hear a million things all over the internet, like a million different things, and people's My Journey videos where they're just doing whatever, but they're not certified fitters. I am a certified medical-grade compression garment fitters fitter <laughs> from the four top medical compression garment companies in the United States. All those credentials are on my website. I am a manual lymphatic drainage therapist, a lymphedema therapist specialist, or a CLT, a certified lymphedema specialist um, therapist. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. Um, but all of my credentials are up there. I specialize in garments and swelling for post-op. The people that are just doing the My Journey videos are just throwing it on because they don't really understand how it works. They think it's supposed to push fluid somewhere. Fluid isn't pushed, guys. Fluid is absorbed back into your body and then you pee it out. So if you guys need me, I am in New Jersey, Highland Park, and Elizabeth. Uh, you can call the office to schedule a session with me, 732-841-0142. If you are not in New Jersey, I do virtuals, so 732-841-0142, same number, so you guys can still reach me um, if you have questions about your recovery. But if if you're going to call me and ask about garments, make sure you take the course first, please, because a lot of the questions you guys have are covered in there, and you're going to have four hours of content versus 45 minutes with me. So that way you can make the most of your virtual. 
to make sure that like we're both on the same page and we're not wasting time explaining things because in there I teach you how to find a therapist I have directories for you guys to go and look up um, your zip code and I teach you also how to go through Google and find a therapist that's certified questions to ask them to make sure they're practicing right questions to ask them to make sure they're doing the technique right and that they're certified properly and licensed properly so you have the directories but then I also walk you through like if you're going through Google and you see a bunch of people in your area how do we know if they're good or not so that way you can find an actual certified therapist because all we need them for is the hands-on part everything else you have me for so foams garment diet all of that you have my videos you have my course and you can schedule a session with me um but guys that's pretty much it i just wanted to do a quick little video on when can we stop wearing our compression garment after lipo and that's it so be smart make good choices and i will see you guys soon ashley with amare bye